Next up, the Missouri Tigers, eight and five last year, four and four in the conference, returning starters. They've got seven back on offense, six on defense. Experience returning number 72 in the country, number seven in the conference. Their over under is eight. The over is minus 130. The under is plus 130. So Vegas thinks it is more likely that they get to nine wins than it is that they fall back to seven. Barry Odom, 19 and 13 in three years. He has gone 14 and six since starting one and five back in 2017. They are 8-0 and in November since 2016. Clemson transfer quarterback Kelly Bryant takes over for Drew Locke. They've got three offensive linemen returning, along with a ton of skill experience. Uh, running back Larry Roundtree had over 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns last year. He was totally underrated. People did not pay enough attention to him, and that's because they had Drew Locke, and I get that. But uh, look, defensive line was number 22 against the run, but... Their defense was number 108 in sack rate last year, which is kind of crazy. Secondary is no longer young, and that's a good thing, but this this defensive line and these linebackers have got to pressure the quarterback this year. They could be an SEC East dark horse. They cannot match up with Georgia yet. Um, I'm curious about the NCAA sanctions, right? Like, that has totally rallied the fan base. Uh, they've got the whole Make It Right campaign. I wonder what that's going to do for ticket sales because remember they had just completely fallen off I after was the say, nobody was going after the protest and all that different kind of stuff from the team back in like 2014. That's right. Uh, and after Gary Pinkle retired, but uh, but yeah, I mean this is you know year four of Barry Odom. I think he's finally getting this team to come around to what he wants to do. But he's a defensive guy. I was just about and, to say more defense, less high powered, fast scoring offense. And I, I do think that Derek Dooley in that bunch with Kelly Bryant coming in, they've still got some experience. They got a lot of skill talent. I think they're still going to be pretty good. Um I don't think they're capable of competing for the conference. So, I've got I've got them at 9 and 3. So, I've got them going over the 8. Uh I got a loss at Kentucky, a loss at Georgia, and a loss to Tennessee at home, but then a win over Florida, a win at Arkansas. I mean, listen to the the opening of the schedule, okay? It sounds hard, but if you really think about it, at Wyoming, West Virginia, right? You got West Virginia at home, Wyoming you should be able to handle. Southeast Missouri, South Carolina at home, Troy at home, Ole Miss at home, and then at Vanderbilt. Like, they should be 7-0. I mean, just chalking up W's against South Carolina. I mean, they got. I, I think they're better than South Carolina. Okay. So, you know, I that's. Well, I've got them nine and three. What do, what have you got? I got them seven and five. Seven and five. You not a big Barry Odom believer. Well, it's not that. I, I'll tell you this: that November record, it's going to change this year. Oh yeah. You don't have cupcakes at the back end of the schedule anymore. No, they. You none, got Georgia. You got Florida. You got Tennessee. That's when teams aren't healthy. That's when these other teams know what they are and are playing a little bit tougher and, and, and the, the quality of everything is ratcheted up. Yeah. Florida is better than they've been in a while. And, yes, they went down to Gainesville and beat the That's right. The, the Gator P out of them That's last right. year. But the, like, just because they did it last year doesn't mean they're going to do it this year. Yeah, you don't think They had a first-round quarterback last year. Like they don't have that this Florida's year. Florida's probably got that game circled. Yeah, like, I'm and sure I, they do. I, I think highly of Kelly Bryant. Like, Trevor Lawrence may no, be the best quarterback in the country. Correct. Yeah, you lost like, your job to, to maybe the best quarterback in the world in college football. I, I fully, I'm not, that's not a knock on him, but I, I'm just going to tell you, it's, it's just, I just don't think it's the same. That, and, and that's totally reasonable. Like, they will have to change up the offense some because Kelly Bryant is not the. I know the that they've got some of these home games. But their home crowd isn't anything to be afraid of. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. So South Carolina, I don't think you just chalk up. Now, they could easily win that game, too. Yeah. But I see that as a coin flip game. That doesn't that doesn't surprise me. So Troy has a first-year head coach. West Virginia not, has a first-year yeah, head gonna, coach. They're not going to lose to Troy. Uh, they they Miss, might lose that West Virginia game, but I'd be sh- I'd be shocked. That would shock me. They're not going to lose to Ole Miss. But but I've, I've got them losing to, to Kentucky. I've got them losing to Georgia. I've got them losing to Florida. I've got them losing to Tennessee. All those teams are going to bring a ton. All those home games, all those teams are going to bring a ton of fans to to Missouri. Yeah, I can see that. They're going to out. UT is going to outnumber Missouri fans. That's going to happen. Yeah, no, maybe you're right. Maybe so, you're right. 